finally got my coffee and it is so good. But I'm ready to do some more exploring, so let's go ride. Alright, so we got about five hours until the sun goes down, so that should give us enough time to do a little bit of exploring. This is seriously like the coolest area to explore. It's all so new to me. Uh, Red, there is a trail that like, goes up that way. Oh yeah, you could actually see the trail. It goes all the way to the top. I bet there's a really good view up there. Let's see if I can find the entrance. Oh, I bet that's it, right there. I'm gonna do some other exploring and I'll probably most likely come back there for camping on, on the top of the mountain. Oh, it's a moo great. Oh, we're leaving the national forest. That's not good. Looks like we go out of it and then there might be another way in. My main goal for this trip was to get to Black Mountain. So hopefully we can do that. I guess I'll just keep riding this way and see what I find. Not a whole lot of people out here. I really like it. It's an old abandoned cabin. There's a lot of those out here. I got gravel roads for days out here. Oh, there's some new views out that way. It's so exciting being in a place you've never been before. It just gives you that feeling of adventure. Guffy is that way. It's a really weird old mining town. I think the population is 98. It'll be nice to see if they have a gas station in Guffy. I kind of have my doubts from the, the pictures I saw. It's a pretty nice road. It's definitely a TW friendly road. <laughs> Another beautiful day out today. Not too hot, not too cold. I really like these cloud covers. Ah, oh, that's an amazing view. I want to go back in the National Forest. I'm, I'm already home shit. All right, TW, we're on our way. Just be patient. Welcome to Guffy Town. This place is kind of cool. Oh, that's the top sign. <laughs> it's just a, a deer chilling across the street. This place is weird. Post office. They got that thing. I don't see a gas station. Maybe I missed the gas station. Oh, they got a bar. How do they not have a gas station? Apparently this was like an old mining town of some sort. Antiques? Anybody want antiques? Hi. Hi. That is not the place I would want to spend the night. Check that out. This place is cool. No gas station though. I got about another 20 miles till point of no return. Goodbye, Guffy Town. It's nice meeting you. I've never really needed like more gas. Whoa, road damage. Let's see, where do I want to go? Canyon City, 30 miles. Hartzell, 22 miles. There's probably a gas station there. How do we get back to the National Forest? Oh, uh, okay. We gotta take that road. That'll take us back there. Just keep riding all day long. Oh yeah, that's my kind of barn. Wide open. All right, we're heading back into the National Forest. Pike National Forest. We are here. Which way should we go? Let's take a left. Oh yeah. Black Mountain. Dick's Peak. This is cool. There's like, I can explore this way and I can explore that way. When I get tired of this. Only thing is I'm almost at the point of no return back to Lake George. So let's see if there's any gas stations nearby. All right guys, I should be good on the point of no return because it turns out I took the long way around. If I go across the street, I can get back to where I was a lot quicker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride. 
I don't know how many miles I should actually ride to be safe. That's all good. This is how I learned the land. The TW seems to get the best gas mileage around 30 to 40 miles an hour from my experience. Oh, moo cows. Cows are my friends. I woke up this morning to like cows mooing. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, I got about like five miles until I should probably start heading back that way. So we'll see how far that gets me. Do I want to take a left or go straight? That way it looks like it dead ends. So I'll just go straight. I'm gonna park my teat up here so you can load it up with some cows. Probably one, one sixteenth of a cow would probably fit. More and more miles just keep piling on. Guys, I wonder if I could go all the way across Colorado on roads like this. I'm sure I'd have to take a couple of main roads for a little bit, but I should try to like map that out someday. Oh, well, there's like a whole network of trails up this way. Cause yeah, if I keep going this way, I can eventually get to Buena Vista. And then after that, I'm sure you could find more roads like this. <laughs> the miles are packing on. Look about three more miles. We gotta turn around. Oh, there's so many offshoots. I guess I could just camp out here tonight. Finally some trees again. I have a fuel bottle. I almost brought it, but I need to get like four of them. Oh, we have two miles left. How do the miles go by that fast? Black Mountain, Agate Creek, Dick's Peak. If you have like a big adventure bike, this is the place to go. Oh, which way should I go? Should I go down that way? Oh, how many miles do I have left? Not a lot. Yeah, why not? Let's ride down here. Guys, I would get a bigger tank for the TW, but my tank bag wouldn't fit on it very well. Like the Clark tank, it's like super pointy up top and it has that big fat cap. And I'd need my tank bag for all my camera gear. So I think I'll just get a couple extra fuel bottles for stuff like this. I just gotta figure out how far I can go with the fuel bottles. Such beautiful country up here. I love the double wide tracks. Home, home on the range. I just like how it's a mix between trees and wide open. Ah, uh, and then you got the big snow-capped mountains in the background. Got about a mile left. Jeez, it doesn't even feel like I've gone five miles. Will I get to the end of this road before I have to turn around? I have no clue. Trees! I wonder if this just links back up to that road. It's quite possible. Oh, you can you can go through it. It just says, please close the gate. I'm already kind of cutting it close, so I'm not actually sure how far you can get on your reserve, but I don't want to find out today. It's just a random rock in the middle of the grassy field. It's kind of weird. I wonder if it rolled all the way from up there. There's nobody out here too. This is nice. Makes sense because it's so far away from everything. Nobody like usually just comes out here to ride. All right, back to the main-ish kind of road. <laughs> yeah, Dick's Peak is that way. Such a good view. Wow. Yeah, I'm halfway tempted just to camp here actually oh they have a fort and everything it's a little early but it'll give me some good time to relax they're just so good here and it's got trees and open space kick stand rock oh, there you go just gotta get things set up here check this out we got plenty of firewood get in there all right tent out there we go. Also, motorcycle gear is not the most relaxing. It's also nice to have a good comfy chair to relax on. Don't forget the lantern. And then, I got a new sleeping pad. 
So this will be the second night using this new uh, sleeping pad. So this is just a cheap one, but I stayed comfortable all of last night and I got pretty good sleep. And it's plenty high enough to get you off the ground so you're not sleeping on all those rough surfaces. But I guess we'll see if it's comfortable again tonight. Usually the first night is the night I can't sleep very well. But last night really surprised me. And of course my sleeping bag. It was pretty chilly last night, but that thing definitely kept me nice and warm. Because it's really hard to get to sleep when you're freezing cold. One pillow and two pillow. Now that everything's set up, it'll be nice to just sit down, relax, and enjoy God's creation. Guys, we gotta get this thing started. There's so many mosquitoes flying around, I'm already starting to feel itchy. Whoa, that's quite the fire. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any real food, so I'm just gonna eat some beef jerky and other snacks. Alright guys, uh, this fire's dying down, so let's go over here and check out this fort. Ooh, it's kind of spooky. It's like something from the Blair Witch Project. I wonder how long it took someone to build this. I'll be honest though, if I run out of firewood, I'm gonna probably borrow some from here. Guys, you want to see something really cool? So I got this light right here, and I'm gonna go set my camera up somewhere that way. Long exposure photography is so much fun because you get to control the lighting yourself so the creative options are pretty much endless. There's not much left to do so I'm gonna go to bed and hopefully wake up early. So good night. Good morning, everybody. I slept uh, pretty well last night. This blue pad still did good. Um, the only thing I'll say is that there are some rocks underneath it right now, and it's fine when you get comfortable and fall asleep, but like when you're shifting your weight around, sometimes like you'll hit those rocks and it doesn't feel too good. But um, anyways, let's get this day started. <laughs>
So I calculated the distance for the shorter route back to Lake George and it's only going to be about 28 miles and I'm almost at 60 miles on the T-Dub. So that will give us about 10 miles to explore some trails along the way. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and get out of here. Yeah, breaking down camp and packing everything up is definitely my least favorite part. It's a good feeling once you get it all done and you're back on the road again. Oh, that breeze feels so good. Pretty sure I'll be as okay as far as gas goes. I just can't uh, take too many detours, but I do want to check out some trails on the way back. Wide open, fresh air, it's so good. This terrain is just so unique, different from what I'm used to. It's like rolling hills filled with lush grass. There's not really any like streams or rivers around here, so I'm kind of getting low on water. Home, home on the range. There's just like barely anybody out here. I saw like a couple vehicles go by and they look like work trucks, so it's probably someone just going to work. I love this road. It's so nice, flowy. All right, now we just gotta go across this road. Mama always says to look both ways before you cross the street. But she didn't say to be in first gear. No, wait. <laughs> I don't want neutral. All right, here we go. Uh, are you serious? It says no through access. Uh-oh. I might have to go back the way I came. I think I could probably make it. Ugh. Well, I guess I uh, gotta go around. I really wanna explore out here, but I don't have the gas. And if I can't get through here, I don't wanna take the chance. Sometimes those signs are not always telling the truth, but a lot of times they are. And I'm not really in the position to find out. So I'm at like 61 miles right now. And it's gonna take about 50 miles to get back to the gas station. It's gonna be uh, do not pass go, do not collect $200. All right guys, well I got some gas and water. I'm just gonna be heading home from here, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.